If you're watching this morning, the Utah Red Cross needs you. They're always looking for more people to donate blood, but right now they have a serious need for certain blood types. Rich Woodruff here from the Utah Red Cross explains what types of blood donors you need. Hey, Rich, thanks for being here with us this morning. First of all, I wanted to point out the, the, the logo back here. It's kind of messed up. We have some, something's wrong oh. with the logo. A, A, O, what are those blood types? So, yeah, it's the missing types campaign. And so uh, we have a, a little fun, but with a serious problem. So that's how you're advertising it yeah. here. You're showing the logo here, which normally says the American Red Cross, but the A is missing, the O is missing, and those are the blood types you need. Yeah, we actually need all blood types. The need is constant. And so what if the blood types all go missing from hospital shelves? That's a big problem. So we want to raise awareness. We want to let people know that the need is constant. Uh, if you can believe this, Brian, only three out of 100 Americans actually donate blood. So when you think about that and you think about the need, uh, we could certainly use more help from the yeah, public. 3% is so low. It is. It is. Yeah, uh, some can't give blood, of course, but many can. Uh, the, the majority can. And so we're encouraging people to join us, also to reactivate uh, former donors and inspire mm -hmm. them to join in and help us fill the, the shelves with those missing types. Why is it so hard to get blood donors in the summer? You know, a lot of people take vacations. They have other distractions. You've got schools out of session. You know, you got to realize that uh, most of our blood drives are held off-site. Only about 20% are at the fixed sites. So what that means in the summer months is people have other priorities and, uh, you know, they just don't think about it. So you need all blood types, but more importantly, you need specifically A blood types and O blood types. Mm -hmm. Where would these blood donations go if people come in and donate this blood? Well, if you look at the need, uh, you've got cancer patients, you've got emergencies, you've got, uh, say, mothers that have difficult childbirths, you know, people battling cancer. There's a lot of reasons that people need blood transfusions and blood products, and so they go to help save lives. And I know you're doing some big pushes for blood donations this week in particular. Yeah, we, a lot of it's raising awareness, some iconic brands, participate. Uh, this is the second year of the campaign. Uh, Google, Domino's Pizza, there's a long list of those that have decided to go this route and uh, raise some questions and some curiosity about what's missing and then it creates a dialogue. And then you have a couple of days this week. I know you're looking to get, to get those donations out. Friday in particular is a big day for the Utah Red Cross trying to get those donations in. Yeah, Friday uh, is actually World Blood Day, which is, uh, you know, kind of coincidental, but also by design to draw awareness to the problem mm -hmm. and also to create that, uh, you know, uh, perspective that the need is there. Sure. All right. So if you're looking to donate, you're, you're hearing this call this morning. You're saying, you know what? I probably should get out there. I've got the blood, right? Sure. I could donate sure. some. Yeah. Where should they do that and how do they do it? Uh, easiest thing is Red Cross blood.org. It'll direct you a couple of ways. Uh, the, we've got an app. We make it very easy. We do encourage appointments uh, because, okay. uh, you know, it'll take you about an hour. The actual process is only about 10 minutes, but you need to check in. You need to do all the preliminary stuff as well. All right. And it's good to know to be able to get that out there, to be able to help people in need who can use that blood. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Like we say, the need is constant. We need about 15,000 units a day, actually, to, okay. to meet the need. So you see how much is out there. And of course, you have any, uh, if you have the opportunity to donate, they can definitely use it. You can see right there the information online at abc4.com slash gmu talking this morning with again rich woodruff from the utah red cross they need those blood donations so they can put the a and the o back in the american red cross yeah they've gone missing so we gotta you know plug them back in so. there you go thanks yeah. for being here this morning thank rich. you and leo